everyone, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Monopoly Stranger Things Edition board game. GameStop was cool enough to send this to me so I can unbox it on my channel. And right now the game is available for pre-order on the GameStop website for $26.99. And it won't be released and shipped until January 18th. So if you're interested in getting this game, I'm going to leave the pre-order link in the description box. GameStop also sent me some figures. I didn't know they were going to send me these, but they're so cool. They're also made by Funko, which is awesome. And I'm just going to give you a quick close-up of the figures. And I am the type of person who takes figures out of the box, so I will take them out and show you a better look at them at the end of the video because I'm really excited to get into the Monopoly set. But I will open this at the end. So I love the box itself. It's going to look freaking awesome on display, but as soon as this video is over, my mom and I are going to play it, so I'm not going to put it up on display just yet. There's not going to be any gameplay in this video. I'm just going to show you the box and the contents inside the box and show you how everything looks. I love how the tokens here are on display as well, which is, I think it's the best part of the box because you have these 80s inspired tokens just regular silver colored and then on the bottom here it's flipped they're the same tokens just flipped upside down and tarnished because they were pulled out of the upside down i think that's so cool also what i've noticed i used to play monopoly a lot as a child so i don't i think it's the age is 14 plus but i feel like it's because it is a stranger things edition and stranger things is kind of i would say dark but I feel like kids could still probably play this. I don't think the images are going to be too scary for them. I mean, ultimately, it's up to the parents to determine that. But I feel like the references to Stranger Things is just going to go over their heads anyways, I feel. I don't know. This is the back of the box. And it says, The game of Monopoly turned upside down. Nothing interesting ever happened in Hawkins, Indiana. Until November 6th, 1983. Now Will Byers has gone missing, and it's up to you to find him. Search the town, travel through the locations of Hawkins, and avoid getting trapped in the Upside Down. Time is running out, and the monster is out there, somewhere, looking for you. <laughs> and then it has cards theme to the events of Stranger Things. So walkie-talkie and blinking lights. I'm sure that's the community chest and chance cards from the classic game. And then features 80s inspired tokens and tokens ripped from the upside down. So that's my favorite part, I feel. That's so cool. And then the contents has the game board, the 8 tokens, the 28 title deeds, 16 walkie-talkie cards, 16 blinking light cards, 32 forts, 12 hideouts, which is the hotels and houses from the classic game, 2 dice, same, money pack. The money looks the same as the classic game, I think. I think. Then the game guide. So let's open this up and I'll show you the close-up of the board itself and go through the, the cards and stuff. So once you open the box, you're going to see this cover that's covering the contents inside. You're going to see Mike, Dustin, Eleven, and Lucas. And it says Stranger Things. And then you just open it up. It's just a cover. You're gonna have the money, the cards, like the blinking lights and the walkie-talkies. Then you have your tokens, your houses and hotels that are called forts and hideouts. And then obviously your game board, your board game. Money, cards, and then you have the guide, which I'm probably going to need because I haven't played Monopoly in a while, so I'm going to need this to I feel like once I start playing, I'll catch on quick again. So let's uh, get some close-ups of everything in the box. I'll start with the tokens. Ah, tape. Hold on, let me cut the tape. So once you cut the tape, you can get to the tokens. And like I said earlier, it's just, these are the same tokens as up here, just upside down and tarnished. I'm going to give you a little close-up of each of the tokens. I don't think this is any specific character bike. It's just inspired by the 80s because they all ride bikes. So I don't think it's anyone specific. Then we have a camera. But, you know, isn't it Jonathan, Will's brother, who has a camera? So it maybe could be Jonathan's camera. But it's just inspired by the 80s, I feel. 
And then we have a classic old 80s TV. And a shoe. I feel like there was a shoe in a classic Monopoly game, but I don't think it looked like this. And then we have the dice. You know what dice looks like. And these are the same as those, so I'm not gonna pop them out just yet. Then we have the money. I feel like this is the same money as a classic game, so I'm not gonna open that just yet until I play the game. These are the cards. I'm not gonna go through all the title deeds because you're going to see the board game and you can see them on there. I believe the quarry, is that how you say it, quarry? <laughs> and the Hawkins Power and Light are like the utilities from the classic game. And these are the railroads. I used to love owning those. So I'm gonna go flip through these blinking lights and walkie talkies, which I believe is like the community chest and the chance cards from the classic game. So you can pause the video if you wanna read them. You got a makeover. That's funny. I've had so much caffeine today, I'm shaking. Those are all the cards. Now let's get to the board game, which I'm sure everybody's mostly excited for. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to take my phone off the tripod to show you like the whole board in entirety. Yeah. Let me take it off the tripod to show you. And here it is. I'm gonna give you a close up of all the properties starting with Go. So let's go. Go, Mike's Basement, Walkie Talkie, Lucas's House, Demogorgon Attack, Bike, Buyer's Home, Blinking Lights, Castle Buyers, Benny's Burgers, Jail, Just Visiting, Wheeler's Home, The Quarry, Steve's Pool, oh, Barb, Merkwood, Joyce's Car, Hawkins AV Club, Walkie Talkie, Hopper's House, Hawkins High School, Free Parking, Hawkins Police Department, Blinking Lights, Melvalds, ooh, is that how you say that? I forgot how to pronounce where Joyce works. Melvalds General Store? Hmm. Bradley's Big Buy, Hopper's Patrol Car, Joyce's Wall, I really want to do that to my room, <laughs> Photography to Photography Dark Room, Hawkins Power and Light, The Hawk Cinema, Go to Jail, that's the worst, The Junkyard, Hawkins Middle School Walkie Talkie, The Void, Hawkins Power and Light Van, Blinking Lights, Hawkins National Laboratory, Demogorgon Nest, and The Upside Down. Here's where you put the blinking lights cards and the walkie talkie cards. And that is the board game. So I flipped through the Monopoly instructions just because I haven't played in a while and I was wondering if, you know, if there's anything differently played with this game since it's themed. But it doesn't seem like it is. Everything's pretty much the same, just obviously themed. Just if you're wondering. I just feel like I had to say that. Anyways, on to the figures. Here are the figures again, and I'm gonna open them. These are the backs of the boxes. Ah, look how small and cute that is. I wonder why it's hidden in the box like that. Like if someone wanted to keep it in the box, you would never know that it's there. I mean, you can see his binoculars. Oh, but that's so cute, how small they are. I wonder if she could hold them. I think so, because her hand, I'll see. Please don't, okay. I was like, watch it like pull up the design. I'd be heartbroken. I wonder if anyone's gonna get mad for me opening these. <laughs> Whatever, it's mine. So let's see if she can hold the ego. Oh, she did! This is so cute. Oh, let's see how this happens. Let's see. Can she hold the ego box? 
not really not really it's not working out come on you can do it like it looks like she can because her grip is sort of rectangular if you will come on you can do it you can do it I did 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 it it works I did it okay <laughs> I got way too excited I had some difficulties getting that ego box I'm not gonna put it back in the box I'm just gonna keep her like this they're gonna stay out of the box and I'm just gonna display them wonder oh they come with little stands I think Oh shoot, I didn't even, I was so excited about the Egos, I didn't even realize that Mike had little accessories too. Cool. He has his little walkie talkie, and I can't really, it looks like a slingshot. So cool. Looks like she has holes on the bottom there. So I wonder, where do you put, I don't see a stand for her, so. Hmm, does she come with a stand? I don't see any stands in here. I'm just having difficulties. But I wonder if she can stand up by herself. Let me use the Monopoly board to test that out. Can she stand up by herself? She can stand. Okay, so she can stand by herself. She doesn't really need a stand, but she has holes for one. But I don't see a stand. But then again, I didn't see that either, so I'm blind. Okay. Let's move on to the other characters. Let me give her a little close up because I don't think I did. I got too excited over the Egos, but that is so freaking cute. She's even bleeding from her nose, if you can see. <laughs> Love it. And her legs bend and her arms bend. Cool. Here we have Lucas. I gave him the binoculars and the slingshot. I remember him with the slingshot. Even though it was in the packaging, it was over here by Mike. I gave him that. And he already had the book bag on his body in the packaging. So that is Lucas. Then we have Mike. I gave him the walkie-talkie. And he already had the backpack on his body in the packaging. So that is Mike. So let's move on to the other box. I already took it out. And I'll show you close-ups of that. So here we have the Demogorgon. I think this is my favorite of them all. Eh, 11 is because of the Egos for sure. But this is the second one. I think that's really cool. Then this is Dustin. There was only one accessory that came with this three pack and it's that little can of chocolate pudding which Dustin is holding. It's a little hat. He also comes with his backpack already attached to him. I'm shaking. I have so much caffeine in me. <laughs> and last we have Will and he just has his backpack attached to him. All the figures they all stand up on their own except I couldn't get the Demogorgon to stand up on its own I feel like maybe they were supposed to come with stands because usually when they have these sort of holes on the bottom of their feet they usually come with the stand but I didn't see it in the box so I don't really know but I will figure it out I'll figure out how to make it stand up on its own and the ego box didn't last too long in Eleven's hand so I'll figure that out as well <laughs> Anyways, comment down below and let me know if you're a fan of Stranger Things. I just finished season two. I know I'm late, but I've been moving and I hadn't had a chance to binge it. And I really want to sit down and binge season one all the way through season two. I haven't binged season one in a while, so it, I'm the type of person who needs to watch something multiple times before things really start clicking in my brain. So I'm excited to do that again. <laughs> also comment down below if you're gonna buy that Monopoly game because I'm so excited to play that. Oh, I can't wait. So I'm going to end this video right here so I can go play. And thanks so much for watching.